divisional matchup in this NLDS. It's the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers in this series set as these two teams separated by just 130 miles and a lot of history. All against Mike Clevenger. It's on the shoulders of the man known as Sunshine. And this year against the Dodgers in September, he struggled, particularly those two starts in September. Yeah, he had a rough time against these Dodgers. They put pressure on him from the jump. Turner finished the year at 298, fifth in the National League, eighth in the league with 100 RBIs. And Turner looks for a deep left field. Ranging back is Profar, and it's a 1-0 start for the Dodgers. Craig Turner, 21 home runs during the regular season. Second batter of the game, and the Dodgers take a 1-0 lead. 419 feet worth of home run for Craig Turner. So far in postseason, the majority of the runs have come as a result of home runs. Yeah, but the Dodgers strike first in game one. Max Muncy stepping in. Disappointing season with a 196 average, but 21 home runs. Ground ball, left side, base hit. Rounding third, coming home to score is Will Smith. Max Muncy goes the other way, hits against the ship. Smith comes in to score, and the Dodgers take a 2-0 lead. We showed you a shot of Sandy Koufax. I know he appreciates run support, and Julio Marias is getting it out of the game. Turner has to stay at second with one away. Here's Will Smith, RBI chance with one out in the third. Smith ropes one towards left center field. Profar on the move to try to get there. He can't. Turner is going to score. Smith on his way to second, and it's a 3 0 Dodger lead in game one. Two on, two out. Wilson, the righty, is warm and ready in the Padre bullpen. Now the 2 2 from Clevenger to Lux. Line drive, right field. It is a fair ball. It's going to roll to the corner. In to score is Smith. Muncie will be held at third. A run producing double for Gavin Lux. And the Dodgers have a 4 0 lead. Bob Melvin hanging out the hook. Padres making a change. Out with Clevenger, in with Wilson. Outside ball for the base throw over. Saw Wilson quite a few times, in fact, eight different games. And those eight appearances did not allow an earned run to the Dodgers at all. Bellinger has faced Wilson twice this season, 0 for 2. Bellinger grounds it to the right side, bobbled by Myers. He can't do a thing with it. Once he comes in to score on the error by Myers, and the Dodgers have a 5 to nothing lead. If I'm Will Myers right there, I'm looking heater. He got it first pitch. He took it. Now guess what? Now you get a curveball. That one's sent deep to left field. Ranging back is Thompson towards the wall. He leaps, and it's just over the glove and gone. Will Myers gets the Padres on the board with a home run here in the fifth. Padres now first and second. Nobody out. Bell to pinch hit for Drury. Bell finished the season 266 but hit only 192 with the Padres. Yeah, swung out and missed. A fastball against Josh Bell. First out of the sixth, Will Myers coming up. Myers began the Padre comeback with a leadoff home run in the fifth inning. Hard shot, stand by Lux, throws the second out and second on the first. Double play! What a play by Lux, and the inning is over. A spectacular play turned in by Lux and Turner, and then to the receiving end, Freeman, wow! So the Padres held off the board. The Dodgers have dominated the Padres this year, winning 14 of 19. And Cam skies one into left field. Thompson coming on, dying in the rain. And it's out number three in the ninth for a game one Dodger win in this NLDS. Clayton Kershaw. Career postseason start number 31. Machado and Manny hammers it in the air down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone, and it is a home run for Manny Machado. Homered against him in the 2020 National League Division Series, and now again in 2022. Padres strike first, it's 1-0. Darvish, 36 years old, making a second start of the postseason, ninth of his career. Freddie Freeman went 0 for 3 in game one with a walk and strikeout. And Freeman sends one to deep center field. Racing back is Grisham. At the track, at the wall, he leaps, and it is gone to tie the game. Another first inning home run in this series. It's 1-1. One one. Grisham jumped as high as he could. Couldn't reach it. So we go to the bottom of the second, still all even at one. Max Muncy will be stepping in. A high fly ball into right field. Soto heading back to the wall, and it is gone! A home run! Max Muncy gives the Dodgers a 2-1 to one lead. Back-to-back -back hits set up with two men aboard. This time with the top of the lineup. Manny Machado coming to the plate. Now on 2-1, a curveball hit hard, and down the left field line, that's a fair ball and a base hit. 
Kim is rounding third. He's on his way. Soto into third and standing at second with an RBI double, Manny Machado. This is a 2-2 game. Trey Turner lined to third base in his first at bat. The fifth leading hitter in the league this year. Turner rips one to deep left field. He's done it again. And this one ties the game yet again. Trey Turner with a home run last night. And another tonight. It's 3-3, and we're just in the bottom half of the third. Dark Ryder all is in. One out, one on. And Will Myers will come to the plate. Ground ball towards shirt. Turner. Oh, Turner. He was trying to line up that force out to second or at least get one. We'll see if the Padres are able to take advantage. Profar the bat. Bouncing ball right side. That's through. Profar delivers as Grisham is on his way home. Betts is going to come up throwing and it's cut off. The Padres take the lead and it's 4-3 to three, San Diego in the sixth. Myers ends up at third and a butt put down by Grisham. What a play by Gratterall. He gets the out at home. What a play by the Dodger pitcher. Picked it up, barehanded, threw sidearm to the plate, and Will Smith tagged him out. What a play by Granerol. Hard hit to center field, ranging back Bellinger, twisting around, makes the catch! Bellinger, oh, some defense for the final two outs, wow! And with a one-run lead, Bob Melvin makes a change as the Dodgers have runners on the corners, nobody out, and Justin Turner due to bat. It swung on and missed. Suarez at 101. Left-handed and Gavin Lux, one out of two with a single and a strikeout against Darvin. First pitch swing, grab ball to second base. Cronenworth charges to second for one. Kim to first. Oh, yeah, it's in time in a double play. Biggest moment of the game, biggest moment of Suarez. Suarez's career biggest moment of the series. Base is loaded for Smith with two down. In the air, center field. And Grisham will secure this one and keep the Padres in front. Start of the eighth inning, Padres lead 4-3. to three. They will try and add to that lead against Blake Trinan. One down for Cronenworth. One and one to Jake. Here's the pitch, and that's a towering drive. Deep down the right field line. This one's way back. It's going to go. A long home run to right field for Jake Cronenworth. And the Padres add on. It is 5-3, San Diego in the eighth. There's a bird out there in center field. We thought we saw everything in the game, and now a new friend wants to join our party. Hello, friend. Josh Hader enters the ball game. Two outs here in the eighth. Time one is Thompson at first base. Barnes swings, hits it in the air. Center field playable. Grisham drifting back. A little bit towards right center. And just in front of the warning track, he makes the catch. And the Padres are one out away from a 1-1 series. Tying right of the dish with two outs. Smith one out of four tonight. In the air to right. Soto is there. And this series is even at a game apiece. An absolute classic between the Padres and the Dodgers. 16 years since the last time these home fans in San Diego saw a playoff game. And their team has come back to Petco Park tied at a game apiece in this National League Division Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres in a crucial Game 3. I imagine the adrenaline is very high right now with an atmosphere like this. Here's the pitch. Check swing on a ball down. They appeal. He went, and the side is retired. Three straight strikeouts for Blake Snell after the lead single by Betts. And a runner left in scoring position for L.A. Gonsolin making just his second start in the last 51 days. Sideline in late August with that forearm strain. Came back on October the 3rd. And tonight, Dave Roberts is hoping he can get three full innings out of him. First and second with one out for the Padres here in the first inning. He's only had one start, like you said, Adam, in over a, well over a month. Yep. So you can do all the simulated games. You can do all the inner squads. You can do all that. This is the postseason. When you step out there, adrenaline's going. It's a different feel. He's limited on pitch count, and so he needs to find it quickly before there's action in the Dodger bullpen. Two on and two out for left-hand hitting Jake Cronenworth. Jake, who had the big boy blast in the eighth inning to really put the stamp on Game Two's victory, gets his first home plate appearance. And Flair in the center field will get down for a base hit. Soto will score, and Jake Cronenworth gives the Padres the one-nothing lead in Game Three. A beautiful job executed there by Jake Cronenworth. Left the split up. Cronenworth a tad bit out in front, but hits it on the line. The Padres take an early one-nothing lead. Two away here in the second. Five straight retired after the Mookie. That single began the game, and he's got a chance to finish off this inning. One, two, three. Two, two, swing and a miss. It's a slider and another strikeout. That's five Ks for Blake in two shutout innings. Conflin again. One start in 51 days. He's done. And now the lefty, Andrew Heaney, who is 
been starting virtually all year, is on in relief. Padres with a threat. First and third, one out, bottom of the second. Shows a bunt. That one came inside. It may have hit the bat, and it's a live ball. He's tagged out. Heads up from Barnes, right on top of it. It does hit the bat, but it also catches, it looks like it's maybe his chest. Wow, I think that, well, you saw Pofar kind of rubbing his chest a little bit, so I think that just got the worst of him. The frustration is the final injury of all of it. A huge play by Barnes to get the out. Heads up, and now they're two away. Off the fist, popped up. The Turners are there, Trey's got it, and Andrew Heaney cleans up the gonsolent mess. one nothing Padres, but the Dodgers threatening here in the third. They got Barnes at first, Thompson at second. Strike three called, 97 mile an hour fastball. Turner thought it was ball four, it was not. Six strikeouts for Blink Snell. Second walk of the inning, second walk of the game, and the Dodgers have the bases loaded for Will Smith. Already the biggest pitch of the game, and it's only the third inning. Off the fist, popped up. Myers coming in, and the threat is neutralized by Snell. And the inning is over. No runs, a hit, and the Dodgers leave them loaded. One out, one on, bottom of the third in the third game of the National League Division Series. Off the fist, flared to the shallow left. Turner out, and he cannot make the play. Bell had to hold up between first and second. He'll get into second safely. It will be E6 on Trey Turner, who had a career-high 16 errors during the regular season, two in this series now. So the Padres catch a break, first and second. Will Myers coming up. Myers struck out swinging in his first at-bat. Now the 2-2, swung on and missed strike three. Heaney needed a strikeout, and he got it. Second out of the third, and Hassan Kim coming up. Swung on and missed strike three. Heaney strikes out the last two batters here in the third. It has been the bottom of this order for the Padres that has been such a catalyst in both series so far here this postseason. Goes after the first pitch, sends it to right. It's 2-0. Number two is locked in at the plate. Continues to pay dividends to Bob Melvin and his ball club for sticking with him. When things got tough, he's just giving the Padres a 2-0 lead. Third home run of the postseason for Trent Grisham and the first here at Petco this postseason. And while the Dodgers have had a couple of opportunities so far tonight, this is now probably their best. Runners on second and third. Nobody out on the top of the order coming up. Into right field. Soto angling back, stops, and has it on the track. But that's deep enough to score Thompson. On the third goes Barnes, and Mookie Betts with his first RBI of the postseason gets the Dodgers on the board and cuts the lead in half. And now Trey Turner will come to the plate and the Padres will bring the infield in. Off the fist, popped up, Machado in. Nola with the mask off, who's gonna make the play? It's Machado, somebody's gotta cover home plate. And sure enough, they get the out. Nola and Machado with a little bit of a collision there. Now there are two down for Freeman, with the time run still waiting at third. First pitch coming in a ground ball sharply right at Manny. Machado's got it, pats it in the glove. Throw to first in time, and the side is retired. Snell gets through five, and the Dodgers, who had runners on second and third, nobody out get just the one run. Max Muncy, just his second hit against Blake Snell in 20 at-bats in his career. It's for extra bases, and that's gonna do it for Snell. Muncy now the tying run in scoring position. Muncy at second in a one-run game, and the pitch swung on and missed. Blew a fastball past him. So the Dodgers' struggles tonight with runners in scoring position continue. And first pitch, little topper up the third baseline. Martinez gonna pick it up with the bare hand. Throw the first base in time, and the inning is over. Nick Martinez comes out of the bullpen and takes care of business. Josh Hader was brought over to San Diego to pitch in games like this. Here's the 2-2. Taylor swings and misses strike three. Now the only guy standing between Hader and the Padres and a 2-1 lead in this series is Trace Thompson. Everybody's standing at Petco now. The 3-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Josh Hader strikes out Trace Thompson and goosebumps at Petco Park. Padres edge the Dodgers 2-1 in game three. And tomorrow night, an opportunity to win this series and advance to the NLCS. The decade of dominance for the Los Angeles Dodgers, a 111-win juggernaut in 2022. But the Padres with an opportunity tonight to end all that talk, to end the narrative, and potentially get to their first NLCS in a quarter century. Here we go. Runners in scoring position for the Dodgers yet again. Both teams in this series are three for 26, but it's more magnified for Los Angeles, mostly because they've lost two of the three. Bouncing ball right side. It's a fair ball past the first baseman, Myers. Betts is in. It's going to 
to score two. Turner's right behind him, and Freddie Freeman strikes first for the Dodgers. It's 2-0 LA. It's the first time that this crowd has been quiet. Dodger dugout has come alive. Here they come in San Diego. Biggest pitch of the season for Musgrove. And Musgrove's 101st pitch of the night is swung on and missed. Gavin Lux strikes out and Musgrove gets through six. It's first and third, no outs, as Austin Nola comes to the plate. Runners on the corners for Nola. Tying run to the plate with nobody out. Now the pitch, and a ground ball chops to the right side. Freeman reaching for it, can't make the play. Rolls out to second base. The run will score, and everybody's safe. Three to one in the bottom of the seventh inning. There are no style points in the postseason. No. And the Padres are on the board. Dave Roberts coming out. He's going to get Canely. So Almonte is coming in. Freeman in at the corner at first. Muncy the same at third. Yancy Almonte has been dynamite so far. Grounded towards third base. It gets by Muncy. And a fair ball down the left field line. Grisham's on his way home. He will score. Kim to second. An RBI double in a one-run game. A double for ha Sung Kim. And the Padres get within one with runners on second and third no outs they gotta find a way to cash this run in tying run 90 feet away go ahead run at second nobody out and this place is going absolutely bonkers Soto with a line drive into right field that'll get down and a base hit Nola comes in to score and the game is tied at three Juan Soto an RBI single we have ourselves a new ball game and from down three nothing Juan Soto has tied this game this place is in a sea of sound so now two in scoring position. Cronenworth, the eighth man to bat, new pitcher on the mound. Lefty to lefty. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Cronenworth to center field. Padres take the lead. Kim is in. Here comes Soto. Off the mound. 5-3 Padres. A two-run single. And the Padres in front for the first time tonight. It's 5-3. to three. Line drive in the center field. Scores two runs. The Padres have captured their first lead and go ahead by two. Josh Hader will face Mookie Betts, Trey Turner, and Freddie Freeman. Betts 0 for 3 in his career against Hader. The 0-2. Check swing and a ball down and in. They appeal. He went one away. Padres two outs away from a trip to the NLCS. They have not yet slayed the Dragon, but the Dragon is up against the drawbridge. It's wounded. Turner swings and misses it. A slider strike three. Back-to-back case for Hayter. Two down. Freddie Freeman, who had a huge home run against Hayter in the postseason as a Brave, will now come to bat with two outs and nobody on. Hayter will try and exercise a personal demon in the playoffs as the Padres try and exercise a 50-year demon. Oh, and two. Swing and a miss. Freeman went after a slider in the dirt. And the ball game is over. The series is over. And the Padres have slayed the Dragon. They defeat the Dodgers in four games to advance to the National League Championship Series. They will play for the pennant beginning on Tuesday night here at home against the Phillies.